Guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever and wherever you're watching this video from. We have 2020 paper 2 GCE. This is mathematics, of course, under vectors. So, as part of revision, let's revise this, uh, let's, solve, let's solve this question. Okay. So, before solving this question, you need to understand very carefully the instruction that is given uh, this side. So, they're saying, in the diagram below, Q is the midpoint of OC, okay? And OABP is a straight line, all right? With the OA equal to AB equal to B, B, uh, BP. And they're saying vector OA is 2 vector P, OQ is vector Q. So let me explain this. So if when you ask, uh, if you understand this part, it will be very easy to, uh, to solve here. So when they say Q is the midpoint, okay? So meaning Q is half of this line. Now, if here is Q, if here is 4, even this head, you should have what? In? A 4, excuse me. You should have a 4. If here is a 10, or Q is 10 centimeters, QC should also be 10 centimeters. So if all Q is vector Q, then here it should, it should also be, be vector Q. Let me use a different color. Okay. So even here, it will be vector vector q this is what it means another information here is they are saying oa is equal to ab so if oa is 2 vector p even here it should be 2 vector p okay then uh, bp is also everything is just equal so even here it will be b two vector two vector p. That's the information we are given. We are not given ratios in this question. Okay, so we can start solving. This is very simple, guys. Vectors are very simple. Okay, number one. So number one, they're saying we should find vector o o b so you're saying vector o b so remember o is the origin since every vector here are given there's not there is no way you can move o o c plus c p plus this ah uh, no so we are given everything here so you can say vector o b is equals to Vector OB is equals to OA OA plus AB. Okay, which is OA is two vector P plus another two vector P, which is giving us four vector p as the answer okay as the, the answer to the first first question okay as the answer to the first question okay Then number two, secondly, we are asked to find BC. So we're going to write BC here. So BC, we look at, the, we move to the sides where we know the vectors. We can't move BP plus PC because BC, we don't know the vector. But here, everywhere, you know the vector. So the origin is B. Okay? The origin is B. 
So I'm going to move B O plus O C. B O plus O T O C. Okay? And we know that B O, no, this is the, the direction of vector is this side. So when you're moving opposite of the vector, it becomes negative. So from here up to here, O B, O B is 4. Then B O will be negative 4 vector P plus O C is Q plus Q, which is 2 RT, 2 vector Q. And remember, under vectors, we always start with positive vectors. So we're going to start with this one, which is 2 vector Q minus 4 vector Q uh, vector P, sorry. We can't subtract here because they are unlike terms. You can only factorize. All right. So what? So if you do not factorize, just leave it here. So let's factorize it. Common factor is two. Uh, two into two will remain with Q. Two into four is two. Vector P as the answer. Okay. as the answer now whatever will be required to use bc we don't substitute with this one we're going to substitute the expanded one which is this one let's go to the second uh, the third question the third question is saying we find aq it's aq yes aq A vector Q. So A vector Q, we are going to move, guys. Where is A? A Q. Simple. I want to move A O plus O Q. So it will be A O like this plus A Q. So here. Um, a O is opposite of O A, so it will change the sign. Since this one is positive, it will be negative. If it was negative, it would have been uh, uh, it, uh, it would have become positive. So it will be negative two vector p plus a q. Um, what's this? Sorry. O Q, not uh, not A Q. O Q. Okay. In fact, vector O Q. So O Q is positive. This is the direction of the vector. Uh, so it will be vector Q. Remember what I said, you always start with positive vector unless both uh, vectors are negative. So here it will be vector Q minus 2 vector P as our, as our answer. Okay. As the, as the our answer there. Okay, so um, let's solve the last one. The last one, let me create space here for the last question. Um, okay, so the last question, which is question four, OB. C P. So C is the origin. Oh, I'm moving C P. And this is simple as well, guys. Simple guys. Um C P, you are going to move C O plus O P. So I'm going to say C O 
plus O plus O what? OP. Okay, so the first one should be the first letter here, and the last should be the last letter. So we are moving from A to P, or from C to P. Beg your pardon. Um, <clears throat> so we solve. We are going to say C O is opposite of this uh, vector, okay? So OC was, is, OC is positive four, okay? OC is positive four, then O, okay? So OC is positive two, so opposite, O C look at this positive two. So opposite will be negative C O will be negative what? Negative two vector vector Q plus O P. This is the direction of a vector, and you have two plus two plus two. So this segment you have three segments that are equal, and the, each segment is two. So it will be six what? Six C. 6p okay 6p then start with a positive one it will be six vector p minus two vector q then here you can factorize what you have two is common two can go into two and into six so you can say two open bracket two into six three times and then p vector p minus two into two one so just remain with vector vector q this one this is the final answer okay so this is the uh, these are the answers to this question you see so with practice vectors are very simple guys Vectors are very simple and you should know them because they are compulsory. Five marks in section A of mathematics paper two. All right. Thank you so much. Remember to subscribe if you like the video and also like the video if you've enjoyed the content. Thank you so much.